Hey there guys, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Adobe Muse Quick Start Guide. In today's video, it's going to be a quick and simple video going over how we can work with starting it with text inside of Adobe Muse, styling with text, going over things like colors, alignment, justifications, and pretty much everything we're going to need to format the text inside of our website to make it look really nice and get it looking exactly the way that we want. So there's plenty to cover, so let's go ahead and just dive in and get started. Okay, so let's just start off with creating some very basic text inside of Adobe Muse. Now, in one of the previous videos, we did create some basic text and we wrote a little box in there, but what I want to do is go over it step by step properly in this video, showing you exactly how you can create your text. So probably the easiest way to do it, like I said before, is just use the text tool, just click and drag to create your text box. Once you've done that, you just go ahead and type in your text and from here, we can sort of begin to style it. Now, you can see we've got a bit of text here already that we can work with so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to make the text in my website on the home screen similar to that in our design mockup. So you can see we've got plenty of text here, um, you know it's all justified to the left, it looks quite nice and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get loads of text in here, I'm just going to put a load of stuff in there then we can start to style it, play around with fonts and all kinds of cool stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to quickly get some text um, uh, to actually put into our website. So I'm just going to go and grab a Lauren Ipsum generator here and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in and from there we can start changing things like the size of the text, the color and so on. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck this in here real quick. So there we are. So there's quite a few things that we can actually do to our text. So the first thing you might want to do, for example, is, you know, change the size. Now, when it comes to formatting their text, there is two ways you can do it. The first way is using the menu bar in the top, uh, the top section of the user interface, or you also have a dedicated text panel, you know, you know that you'll be finding that's similar to something like Photoshop where you can change all of the settings in here. So with the text selected, you know, you can just go ahead and change the text size from here. So for example, if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I can do that. If I want to make it smaller, I just change it down just like that. Now, that you can also change the text color quite easily. You just press the little color icon up here and then just choose the color that you want your text to be. So if you, wanted to, if you want your text to be green, you go ahead and press green. If you want it to be blue, you can have it blue. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use a black color. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is the alignment of the text. Now, there's different alignment types for your text that you can play around with. Um, by default, it's sort of just going to be a align left, which is going to align all of your text to the left-hand side of the screen, and it's going to try and fill the text box that you've got here but it's not sort of going to make it go all the way up to all of the edges it's not going to adjust the spacing and so on next one we have is align to the center so it's going to try and center everything to sort of make it look this way so you can sort of see how it looks next one is aligned to the right hand side pretty much the opposite of the first one you can see everything's aligned to the right and it doesn't really fill it up on the left it just tries to fit in whatever it can and the last one is justify and this justify one is a great little tool if you want your text to pretty much fill this exact box like this what it's going to do is adjust the spacing between each word so that you can actually get the exact box and shape that we're looking for and that's sort of something that we're going to be pulling off for this website here. So what I'm going to do for this then is I'm actually going to drag out my text box just like this so I can actually get plenty of text in there. Now if you take a look at my Photoshop design mockup it takes up about mm, about two thirds of the screen so I'm going to try and do the same thing here and my text size is quite small at the moment as well so I'm just going to go ahead and increase that just use the text size just like that. Just keep on adjusting that until you sort of find the size that you're after and make sure that you're actually using the preview mode inside of Adobe Muse so you can see exactly how your website is going to look. But you can see here it does look quite nice which is pretty good. Cool. So let's go back into here. We've got a whole bunch of other settings that we can play around with that I want to go over quite briefly. So we've gone over 
you know, text size, text color and alignment. You can also change your font up here. It's pretty straightforward. Just choose your one you want to go for. For example, you can go to Comic Sans if, you know, that floats your boat. Um, just select the one you wanted to go for. For example, I've got this nice little font here called Lato Regular, which is quite nice. Now, I recommend only using the default fonts that come with Windows, um, or you can add a web font if you want to install it onto, you know, your website and the viewer and the you know, the person that's on your website can sort of view it that way. Um, but if you don't want to have to link up everything and it become all, you know, extra levels are complicated, just use defaults for now. You can add web fonts later on. It's something we're going to be covering in a later video. It's very simple, quick and easy to do. But for now, just use something that does come with Windows. Cool. So next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to try and go over some of these settings here. So the first one we have is tracking. That is pretty much going to adjust the amount of space between your letters here. So you can see as I turn it up, you can see I've got more and more space between each individual letter. Now for me, this looks a little bit odd. So I'm going to try and keep this down to zero. Um, you know, it might be worth adding it to something like to changing to something like two if you want to sort of have a bit more, fill up a bit more space. It's entirely up to you. But for for now I'm going to leave that to zero. Next thing that we have over here is going to be your leading. That is pretty much the distance between each line. So if I was to go ahead and change this to something like 150%, you can see there's more space between each line. If I change this to something like 250, you know, the space just gets greater and greater as you go uh, as that goes up. So I'm just going to leave this at the default, which is 120% for now. Next one is indent. It pretty much indents your text into the text box, really. So if I just set this to something like 15, the first line you'll have a ever so slightly small indent there. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that down to zero for now. Next ones are margin. That's pretty straightforward, really. You just get like a little margin inside of the box here. So if I set that to something like 15, you've got a little margin there. You can do the same for both the left and the right hand side, which is quite nice as well. We're not going to really worry about the space after setting for now. It's not necessarily something that you are going to use that much. So we are pretty much just going to go ahead and leave that. So I mean, we've got our text in here at the moment and it looks quite nice. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much add in a whole bunch of other text into our website. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this text box for now and just chuck another one of these underneath. So what I do want to do before I end the video or go any further is I'm going to try and recreate this create your first website without any code text. You can see it's nice and big. It's got different colors on it and it's all within the set area. So we're going to try and use the skills we've learned in today's episode to try and pull this off. So go ahead and just select your little text layer over here and the default color for all of this text is white. So go ahead and select a white color. And the text is a little bit too small at the moment, so go ahead and increase the size of that. So maybe play around with something like 18, uh, and that should be, or 24 even, and that looks quite nice for now. And as usual, we need to increase the size of the text box because it's not wide enough at the moment. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just use the normal selection tool to select the text box, and then just quickly drag out just like that and you can get a wider text box. From here you can add in a bit more text. So I'm going to go ahead and see exactly what I've got written over here. So it's create your first website without any code. So let's go ahead and do that. So create all in capitals, create your first website without any code. That's perfect. And what I'm going to do is with the little code bit, I'm just going to go ahead and change the text color on that to sort of an orange. Just go ahead and choose a text color, set it to orange. You can do it from the top. You can do it from the side. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but for now, that looks quite nice. You can see our website is definitely beginning to, you know, start making shape really create your first website without any code we've got our text in here that's all good so i am going to end off the video here hopefully you guys have a better understanding of how to format your text and how to get the look that you are after and as always guys thanks for watching smack that like button share the video and don't forget guys just keep on creating i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>